Okay, so one of the things that we've noticed is in some of our Google Meets, kids are able to get on before us and we've been resetting the link and kids have still been able to get on before us and that causes a problem because if they can get on, they can get on with other kids and they can have all kinds of conversations before we're able to be on there and, and monitor all of this. So I found the fix and it's a really easy fix to do. So I'm gonna walk you through that process. First, in your Google Classroom, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna reset that link just because if you don't reset the link and have a fresh link and some student has already been on that link, you're no longer the host and you're not gonna be able to fix this with your host controls like I'm gonna show you. So you need to reset that link as the first step of this process. To do that, go up here to the gear icon at the top right. You're gonna scroll down and under meet, you'll see a drop down with your current link and just hit reset. It'll reset your link and you're good to go. So now when I go back to my stream, I have the new refreshed link. Next, you're gonna click on that link and you're gonna start a Google Meet. Nobody will be in this link, it's just you. But now that you're in the Meet, you're gonna click on these three dots at the bottom right and go to settings. Here you'll see host controls. That means you're the first person that's joined this meeting, so you're the host. You would not see that if you didn't refresh your link and some kid had been on that Google Meet link before you because they would have those host controls and not you. So that's why it was important to refresh that link first. Once you click on host controls, this is on by default. Now this is something that Google has worked on and changed and they're doing some great changes for us, but when they make changes like this and these things are on by default and we don't know it, then it takes us a while to figure out uh, what changes they made and, and how we can fix some of the issues we're seeing. So under host controls, you want quick access off. This will not allow students to uh, hop onto your Google Meet without you, okay? So with that off, it takes care of the situation. Now that I've got that turned off, I can go ahead and end this Meet, and my classroom is set up and good to go where students cannot access it without me. Now, if you have multiple Google Classrooms, make sure to go in and change that in each one. All right, hope that solves your problem. Let me know.